Since Explorer 1, the first U.S. satellite, the Jet Propulsion Lab has been a pioneer in America's space age. Its robotic spacecraft and rovers have explored the solar system from Mercury to Neptune and looked out into the universe beyond anything seen before. The beginnings of JPL can be found right on its doorstep just north of the Pasadena Rose Bowl in this dry riverbed called the Arroyo Seco. Turn back time 70 years to Halloween 1936. That's when a group from Caltech and their friends came out here to test an idea, a tiny rocket motor that would eventually evolve into the tools of spaceflight. They were an odd mix. Caltech student Frank Molina, who later became the first director of JPL, was interested in aerodynamics. Jack Parsons was a chemist. His buddy Ed Foreman was a talented machinist. Rudolf Schad and Caltech's Apollo Smith also helped, as Molina described in his 1968 interview. The first test was made on the 31st of October, 1936. We had no money except our own pocket money, so we went around looking for second-hand stuff all over the area. The group had the backing of famed professor Theodore von Karman of Caltech's Guggenheim Aeronautical Laboratory, but most everyone else scoffed at rocketeers. People associated rockets uh, in these days with what we would consider bad science fiction films now. They tried three times to fire the thing, uh, and their, the fuse they were using, the split powder fuse, just kept blowing out, so nothing happened. On the fourth try, they ignited the motor and the oxygen line came off, whipped around, started shooting fire, and they all ran away. First day was a bust, but in this letter to his parents in Texas, Molina called it a success. He considered it a success anyway, simply because they, they learned a number of things not to do. Tests in November 1936 proved to be little better, except perhaps to produce this now classic photo. Molina believed rockets could be the ticket to the high altitudes he needed for science research. No one knew how to build a rocket motor, either liquid or solid, really, that was very uh, effective or very satisfactory. So it meant that actually the people, well, those of us here, were really thrown upon our own resources. Finally, on January 16, 1937, success. The white smoke you're seeing coming up is the motor running. The work of the group over these years put rocket propulsion and rocket flight on a real sound scientific and technical basis. From those early days in the Arroyo, to military work, to space exploration. A wild experiment 70 years ago set the tone for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory as a place where extraordinary ideas become reality.